My name is James Bainbridge. I'm an eye doctor at Moorfields and, and researcher at UCL. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you all today to this very, very exciting um, event. Some three years ago, in 2014, we were contacted by a family whose child had recently been identified as having Stargardt's disease and did not know where to go for, on, for information and support with the condition. And this was one of many such interactions that we were uh, struggling with. So Stargardt's falls within the scope of both uh, of many uh, groups and umbrella charities, including um, charities like the Lag Society and um, RP Fighting Blindness and others. Um, it falls in the scope of the MAC Society because it's a disease of the macula, and within RP Fighting Blindness because it's a genetic inherited disease. Um, and obviously it, it falls within charities for children with sight impairment because it affects young people and children. Um, but although it, although it is addressed by these umbrella societies, there's clearly a need for something which provided more specific information and support with people with Stargardt's disease itself. So this has been the inspiration behind Stargardt's Day today, to provide an opportunity for people involved, people affected by the condition, to share experiences and discuss priorities for provision of information and support and for research towards the development of new interventions. So we are very interested to hear your responses to the presentations and um, the presentations here and the posters in the, in the dining room, but are particularly keen to know about the results of your own interactions with each other and within your interactions with all the organisations um, that we welcome here today. We're particularly excited to have a new, newly assembled panel of individuals, our Stargardt panel, who have been instrumental in designing today's event and using the opportunity as a starting point for future development that will benefit the community. And I'm very grateful to the panel for so enthusiastically taking the lead in this. I'd like to thank Rhea Mattox in particular, who have been working with the panel over the last few months. From UCL, I'd like to thank Andy Skilton, who's, who identified this opportunity um, as, a, as a challenge that we had the power to meet. And I think power is an important word. We were discussing this this morning. Um, we were discussing what people might hope to achieve from today. And two words came to light. One was hope, and the other was power. And I think that this assembly of people today with a common interest will help to provide the power that's needed to make a really positive change for the benefit of the community of people affected. It's really very exciting indeed. <laughs> 